Um, I'm going to show you how to make a tripod haycock with um, baler twine. Um, these are seven foot long poles. As you can see they have to be quite sturdy but not, not too thick and um, they're sharpened at the bottom end so that you can stick them in the ground a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I've lashed them together about a foot from the top uh, with um, baler twine, not, not too tight but tight enough so it doesn't slip. So what I'm going to do is put them in the ground that way it's directly onto the pole. Then um, stick the points in the ground. It's worth getting that quite quite good. got the baler twine I've already I've already made it the right length but you might have to experiment with that should be about a foot or a bit more off the ground when it's tight on the ground.
now going to do the corners. Good is to try and keep as much hay off the ground as possible and also keep the hole in the middle, the hollow in the middle, so the air can circulate. If you want to just look at that. I'll put the next one on. Next one, you don't have to be quite so careful about tails. Is there still a hole in the middle? Still a hole in the middle. Let me put another. Button. A bit light.
hay in the cock is uh, better hay than if you make it like that because it cures. You should be able to get about one square bale's worth in a cock, i.e. about 20, 20, 20 kilos, maybe 25. Still there. When this is made, the cock should be uh, completely rainproof, as long as it doesn't blow over. Okay, now we've uh, reached the top stage.
Press it down now. And why do you do that? Uh, so the rain sheds off it. And hay, hay in a cock cures. I don't know if I said that before. It actually makes better hay. What does it mean when you say it cures? Uh, it's, uh, it's like, you know when you stick a four-leaf clover in a book? Mm -hmm. And then you go back and you open it out and it's kind of leathery. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't disintegrate when you rub it. Mm -hmm. That's like cured, so it dries dries slowly. Oh, okay. Uh, whereas if you if you leave it to bake in the sun, things like clover dry quickly and then they shatter and you lose the nutrition. Right. But hay, you might have to, if your hay's too wet and it isn't made yet, you might have to dismantle. This hay is very dry, but if your hay's too, too damp, uh, Stick your thing, stick your hand in. See what it smells like after a couple of days. You may have to dismantle the cock and dry it out and put it back again. You get very good at putting up cocks. But if you're only making a small amount of hay, then it's a good way to do it progressively over a few weeks. So finally. Now you can see that the air is going to get in here and into the hole, which means there's plenty of air circulating around. But there you go, that's how to make a haycock.